On November 5, 2011, Andy Williams publicly announced his diagnosis of bladder cancer that he received a month prior to an audience at Moon River Theater in Branson, Missouri. Williams was quoted expressing his optimism for fighting and overcoming the disease when disclosing it, stating, I do have cancer of the bladder. But people with cancer are, kicking it, and they're winning more and more every year. And I'm going to be one of them. Williams further went on to inform fans that he would continue to make performances into September and October of the next year, stating, I'm going to do the shows of plan to do. After his diagnosis, Williams began to undergo chemotherapy treatment in Houston, Texas. Williams subsequently relocated to Malibu, California, in order to be in closer proximity to quality cancer treatment in nearby Los Angeles, California. On the night of September 25, 2012, Williams succumbed to his cancer and died at his Branson home. Andy Williams was 84 years old. News of his death was publicly disclosed by his publicist Paul Sheffron and Williams's family. Williams was survived by his wife Debbie Meyer and his three children, sons named Christian and Robert, and daughter Noelle. Many fellow musicians and other celebrities mourned Williams's passing. This included Tony Christie, who stated, he was up there with Frank Sinatra and Tony Bennett. I enjoyed a chat with him backstage at the Royal Albert Hall some years ago, and he was a lovely man, very gentle. English lyricist Don Black stated that Williams was a great guy. He was very professional but didn't take himself too seriously. That type of performer doesn't exist anymore. It's gradually becoming the end of an era. Composer, songwriter, and record producer Burt Bacchera stated that Williams's television shows were great. He made you feel very at ease with him, and he made you smile and made you connect to the music and the songs he was singing. American rock band The Killers paid tribute with a rendition of one of Andy Williams's signature songs titled, Moon River, at the Fonda Theater in Los Angeles on September 26, 2012. Other notable celebrities who paid tribute publicly to Williams included English disc jockey Tony Blackburn, English musician Tim Burgess, English singer-songwriter Robbie Williams, country music singer and actress Reba McIntyre, and singer, songwriter, and actor Josh Groban. Multiple members of the Osmonds, a family music group that had a close connection to Andy Williams and originally appeared on The Andy Williams Show in 1962, also paid tribute to Williams after his death. Donnie, Marie, and Jimmy Osmond were particularly noted paying respects to Williams, with Jimmy Osmond stating that Williams was like family and that without Williams, the Osmonds probably wouldn't have been around. Donnie Osmond remarked about Williams on his website, stating, Andy Williams was an inspiring man in both his music and his life. The clarity and warmth and grace of his singing shaped my love of music as I watched my brothers perform with him on his weekly show. When I finally joined my brothers and toured with Andy as his opening act and backup singers, I was always impressed with the way he handled an audience. He loved the audience. That was one of the most important lessons he taught me. Donnie Osmond later tearfully performed Moon River in honor of Williams on the Donnie and Marie show at the Flamingo Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. A memorial service to celebrate Andy Williams's life was held at Moon River Theater on October 21, 2012. The service included musical performances and speeches given by the Lennon sisters, the Gatlin brothers, Andy Williams's brother Dick Williams, Bob Newhart, the Osmond brothers, and Andy Williams's widow Debbie Meyer. Meyer shared a video commemorating her and Williams's marriage and recalling the day the pair first met each other. Bill Cosby and Ethel Kennedy additionally sent in remote tribute videos that were shown at the service.